Greetings everyone. I know there's a lot of people do not believe in pastors and ministers. Because a lot of people have been hurt by the pastors or member of the church. And also because we have a lot of fake pastors and ministers that is out here. So it is hard for people to be able to determine who is real and who is not. Hallelujah, God. And also because of all the different ministers and pastors and evangelists and prophetess that is on television today, it seems like they are using the work of God to make money. And the money they are making is all for themselves. Oh God. But remember, whatever go up must come down. That no matter how long it take, God is aware of everything that is happening in the world. Because in the book of Genesis, it say in the beginning was what the word of God was with him. It say in the beginning, God's spirit, God's spirit breathed upon the world, the earth. In the book of Genesis, you see how God discovered the world and made it in seven days. What I'm trying to say is that God is not asleep at anything that is going on in this world. You see, I know there's a lot of people gave up on church. And there's a lot of people that stay at home and feel like they can get the word of God from home. But they need to go to church. The word of God said, fit come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Oh God, you see, the same gift that the pastor have, you too have the gift and was born with the gift. But different level of anointing has been given to you. Just because that pastor is preaching on the podium may not be you called to the podium too. May be that God called you to evangelize the word of God. Jesus went everywhere Proclaiming the word of God. Going from time and village. Healing people. And recovering the sight of blind. Those who were blind. Oh God. He went everywhere on his two feet walking. And preaching the gospel. And bringing the good news. Onto the people. Oh thank you Jesus. Oh thank you Jesus. You see. I understand why a lot of people look at pastors and ministers and someone may be looking at me too and feel like I don't have the level of anointing that they used to or the level of anointing that they expect me to have. By looking at me, they may think that I'm not deep in the word of God or don't know the word of God. That's what the word of God said to test the spirit and you may know the spirit by a fruit. Hallelujah, God. You see, every spiritual gift and talent come from the Father. You see, God take the foolish things to confound them. God take the least like the thing that you will look at and say, mm -mm, I don't think that she has it. Or I don't think that he has it. And actually that person is burning inside with the power of God waiting for their plenty of time. Where the full anointing can come out of them. And people can begin to see the power of anointing that is in them. Oh God, never judge someone by the way that they look. Hallelujah, God. Because there may be someone today that been thinking about giving up. And been thinking about get, uh, uh, quitting their church. And I'm here to encourage you to stay. To stay, to pray. But before you move out of that church, ask God. What does said the Lord God? And begin to seek others where to find the church that God has for you. Thank you very much. And God bless you.